What's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome episode for Project Orange. Right here we're working on the clutch system. We're going to be replacing the slave cylinder and also the clutch master cylinder. Um, it is shot on this car. Um, it's pretty stiff and uh, all the lines right here, everything, it's old, you know. As you can see, the fluid is actually pretty low. So we're going to take this opportunity to actually overhaul the entire system and uh, completely uh, change everything with uh, stainless steel braided lines and fresh fluid. So I'm going to show you the product that we're using today. It is a high quality product, so I'm sure you guys are going to love it. And I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. All right, guys. So here we have a Exeti kit. Um, this kit comes with a CMC clutch master cylinder um, kit. Um, brand new, everything. We have a slate cylinder. We also have a fresh um, seal for the CMC. Um, and also fresh fluid along with the um, braided line. Everything is extremely high quality um, and brand new. This kit is sold in our store. Um, the braided line comes in three different colors. Silver, gunmetal, and black. So you can have those options. Um, if you guys don't know, Exeti is the manufacturer for the clutch system for the Type S. Um, so they do put out amazing products and these are uh, replacement parts from them. As you can tell, very high quality. It even has a, a rubber boot right there to prevent any dust from going in there. This is a EM1 um, product right here. So we're not installing the stock type pass because because those parts are uh, tend to fail and uh, we don't want that design. This one works so much better and it's super reliable. So you're gonna expect great things from it. The slave cylinder right here, it is a stock type pass design. Uh, this design is not known for failing. This is a great replacement for it. So I'm excited to throw that on the car. Um, like I said guys, it comes with a gasket that we're gonna throw in for you guys. Um, we do have the braided line that is in extremely high quality as well. Stop tech fluid right here, excellent product. Um, so overall this kit is awesome and I cannot wait to throw it on the car. So next we're gonna start by removing um, the stock system. Uh, as you can see guys, it is pretty uh, old and also it has the stock lines. You can see the hard lines going down right there and it loops all the way around and comes right to the front of the car. So we're gonna eliminate all those hard lines and replace it with that beautiful uh, braided line that, uh, that the kit comes with. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the entire clutch system, including the slate cylinder, which is located right in the front. Um, so we're gonna start doing that, and then I'll show you guys the comparison between old and the new. So we're gonna start by removing the hard lines located right here. It, they're held by these brackets right here. I already removed one of them. Um, the other one comes in this way right here and attaches to the chassis of the car. So we're gonna remove the entire system. You don't have to salvage anything of this. Um, so we're gonna continue following it up all the way up and removing all the lines, all the bolts, and all the brackets. So we got all the brackets loose, as you can see right there. Got that one loose and this one from the transmission as well. So this, this end is loose. If you follow it up to the front of the car, now you're gonna lift off with, uh, with the um, slate cylinder in there. But in order to get to this, we need to remove this um, elbow right here. It's only a flat head and uh, we'll be able to get to that slate cylinder. So let's do that and move on to the next step. the slate cylinder free as you can tell it's right there so the next step is going inside the car and actually removing the CMC which is all the way in there and then you go underneath where the pedals are um, and uh, if you go all the way in there you're gonna see uh, a panel that you can remove it's located right over here that panel you'll take off and then you'll have access to the slate cylinder which is uh, two um, 
12 millimeter bolts or nuts and then we are gonna have the uh, master cylinder free and then we'll be able to pull it off from the engine bay so after you remove the two nuts holding the CMC on the firewall and also the pin holding it onto the clutch pedal you come in here and remove it from the cavity in here just reach in there you pull like this Don't feel bad for the system because you're not going to use any of this. Like that. Just like this. The entire thing we removed in one piece. To a rubber line right here, some brackets, and then the bottle goes up there. And this is the uh, design flaw right here that we're talking about. See, it's completely different. So you're going from a much different uh, design, much better, quicker, quicker response, uh, better shifting feel and everything. So make the car more enjoyable while shifting. Uh, so we're gonna, the only part that we're gonna salvage is this section right here. That goes up to the bottle. That's the only part. The rest of it, you can throw it away. So we're ready to assemble this unit right here. Um, we're gonna grab the CMC and uh, assemble the line for it. So the line goes like this, this end right here. Angle it down, and then you're gonna put the, you, you're gonna actually sandwich this line right here. Make sure you put your copper uh, rings right here. Make sure you use those in either side of the line right there like so, and then you put it on the unit. A 14 millimeter, and you're gonna get that nice and tight. So the next step is gonna be the hose that you salvage from the old system right here. You're gonna keep the bottle and the rubber hose, slice right in place, and then you move over the clamp after you're done assembling the CMC, you're gonna put it on the side and start assembling this unit. Um, put the pin right through this to the boot cover right here. And you're gonna use some high temp grease. And just uh, put it back just like this and seal it up. Just like this. All right, guys. So we have the CMC back together. Um, we have the line right here, and we're gonna run it underneath, all the way over there, tucked away, um, and we're gonna bring it all the way to the front like this. Um, lastly, we're going to throw in this device right here, the slate cylinder. Um, this is the bleeding nipple right here. Um, all you need to do to bleed it is remove this cap, uh, crack it open, and have a either a brake um, bleeder kit or you need somebody else to pump the system um, and it'll be a lot faster. Before you get to the point, you're going to install the line onto the slate cylinder. Uh, inst install the slate cylinder back over there and put everything together um, and bleeding will be the last step to this. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm not going to really show you this because I've done it before in a previous video so um, you can do this on your own um, but for the most part guys you get the idea. This kit is awesome and uh, it's plug and play. I absolutely love it. High quality stuff. Alright so that's going to conclude the video. Um, I hope you guys took advantage of this one because many of you guys do have a lot of um, failed CMC's and slate cylinders so this kit is going to be for you. The kit is awesome because it comes with fluid, it comes with the gaskets, it comes with the line and the brand new slate cylinder and, and CMC as well. The entire package is awesome because no other company does that. So. It's going to be a complete package and it's going to be good to go right out of the box. Overall, I absolutely love the kit and I highly recommend it for you guys. So make sure you grab it. It's on the link on the description and it's on our website.
So once again guys, thank you so much for watching. Continue supporting the page by hitting the thumbs up and subscribing. Make sure you just share this video to all your fellow DC5 owners or any Honda enthusiasts. We appreciate the support very much. Every single thing that you do counts. Thank you for watching and until the next one, peace.